Hey guys, Mike here with EverythingAboutConcrete.com. In today's video, we're going to talk about how much does a concrete slab cost for a shed. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Mike here. Now let's get right to it. How much does a concrete slab cost for a shed? Well, I'm going to give you four different sizes of sheds here. So one will be a 10 by 10, one will be a 10 by 12, one will be a 16 by 12, and then a 20 by 20. So in case you didn't know, my name's Mike Day. I own this site, and I also own Day's Concrete Floors Incorporated. And we specialize in putting in concrete slabs for people. These shed slab prices will include the cost of labor and materials for installing the concrete slab only. It doesn't, they won't include any sub-base prep or gravel work. That's something that you'd have to figure out on your own if you need it done at all. Now, let me stop real quick. If, if you like these kinds of videos, can, go down there and give me a thumbs up, guys. It really helps with my video rankings. And if you want to see more of these types of videos, go ahead and subscribe and hit the little bell notification so you'll be updated whenever I put out a new video. Please understand, I live and work in Maine, and these prices will reflect the costs and materials that I have up here in Maine. So it may be different in your area. And the prices will be in US dollars. So as you can see here, here's a, here's a little shed right here that's on a slab. And you, these shed slabs could be for pools, they could be for storage, they could be for just about anything. How thick does a shed slab need to be? Well, on a good compacted gravel base, a 4 inch thick concrete slab will be all you need to build or set a pre-built shed on. 4 inches of 3000 PSI concrete is going to be plenty strong enough to hold the weight of a shed and whatever you're going to put in it. So. How much does a 10 foot by 10 foot shed slab cost? Well, 10 by 10 by four inch thick concrete slab for a shed will cost about $1,100. Now what's that include? Well, that includes about a, about a yard and a half of concrete at 135 bucks a yard for about 200 bucks. The concrete company is gonna charge you a small load charge to bring that little amount of concrete out. So. That's going to be about $100 for a small load charge. Some wire mesh in there for reinforcement. And also a double row rebar that I usually put around the edges of all my slabs. So that's 30 bucks for that. And then the labor. The labor to form it, the labor to pour it, and uh, give it a smooth finish. About 750 bucks. So your total cost will be 1100 bucks for a 10 by 10 shed slab. Now how much does a 10 by 12 shed slab cost? A 10 by 12 by 4 inch thick shed slab for a shed is going to cost $1,185. That's two yards of concrete at $270, a small load charge, $100, the wire mesh and the rebar, about $65, and the labor to install it, set it up, pour it, and finish it, $750. So a total of $1,185 for a 10 by 12 shed slab. Now what about a 16 by 12 shed slab? What's the cost for that? Well, that's going to be about $1,272 for that. That's going to include two and a half yards of concrete, 340 bucks, the small load charge of 100 bucks, the wire mesh and the double row rebar, and then the labor to form the slab, pour and finish the concrete, 750 bucks for a total of $1,272 for a 16 by 12 shed slab. In the last one, a 20 by 20 shed slab. The cost to install a 20 foot by 20 foot 4 inch thick slab for a shed is going to be $1,636. And what that includes is five and a half yards of concrete for 750 bucks, the wire mesh at 80, Double row rebar, about 56 bucks, and the labor again, $750. For a 
for a total of $1,636. Now again, what's the small low charge for concrete? Well, most ready-mix concrete suppliers will charge a fee if you order less than five yards of concrete. At least that's what it is where I live. It could be more or less where you live. And this small load charge is just to help cover their cost for fuel because the, the concrete you're buying isn't really doesn't really add up to that much. So that's what the small load charge is. Now if you're wondering why my labor rate is the same for all four sizes, well, I have a minimum labor charge for each and every job I do, and 750 bucks is a minimum. That's why you see that as a constant with those four slab shed sizes. Now, what if you don't have a good gravel base? Well, that's going to be something that you're going to have to determine. In most cases, you're going to have to dig out whatever's there, like if it is loom there, if there's clay there, and install some gravel under that slab. So whether you, whether you dig out a foot or two feet, that's going to all depend where you live and how much frost you have. Now in Maine, we get a lot of frost in the ground in the winter. So under a, under a slab, we usually put at least 18 inches of gravel. Should I install styrofoam under my shed slab? Well, what does styrofoam do under a slab? The styrofoam under a slab will help keep the sub base from freezing in, in harsh temperatures like we have here in Maine. So we put two inches of styrofoam under a lot of our slabs and that helps keep them from moving. It helps keep the frost from getting under them and heaving them and cracking them. That's why some people may want to put two inches of styrofoam under them. And now two, inch, two inches of styrofoam cost about 35 to 40 bucks for an eight by four sheet. So it's not cheap, but it is good insurance if you don't want your slab to crack and heave in, in, in winter months. Now, is this a DIY type of project? Can you install a 10 by 10 concrete slab? Well, yeah, you can. And especially if you got, take my course right here. Um, I made a course, especially for someone like you who wants to install their own slab. And this course will walk you through each step I'll have the, the link will be on this page, which will be in the description. Plus, I'll have the link for the actual course down in the description also. So that's it, guys. That's what it costs to install a, a concrete slab for a shed. Thanks. I'll see you on the next video.